Karnataka had an alternative. It became a three-way battle since then. A man not known for his oratory skills, Deogoda is lovingly called Mani Ne Magai, meaning the son of the earth in his native Karnataka. But even though the entry into politics was smooth, the ride ahead was an uphill task. In 2004 was the next landmark election as far as Karnataka is concerned. Why? Because every political pundit had some gyan or the other to give and predicted one factor about the state. It did come true though. What happens if all three parties perform equally well? That kind of a scenario played out in Karnataka. In the 2004 assembly elections, BJP emerged the single largest party. The Congress was second best at 65. And the JDS, back then led by Sidramaya, don't get confused, managed to get 58 seats. So with a hung assembly, all eyes were on JDS to see which way they go. And this is why I say JDS has a history of being the king maker. Please, please come. Dharam Singh. All these things have been discussed in detail. Now we have agreed upon to form the government, a coalition government in Karnataka. So JDS chose Congress. The Janata Dal joined hands with the Congress with Dharam Singh taking charge as the chief minister. And what happened next in Karnataka is a word that we derive from the state itself. Endless Nataka. Sidramaya had a fallout with H.T. Devagauda and then twist of twists in 2005 Sidramaya is expelled from the JDS. Why do you want to move Mr. Sidramaya from uh, the leadership of the JDLP to the party world? Which reason we are going to take the decision? Nimpukuras will going to address the press. I say I was the hindrance. Yeah. Stumbling black. For his plan. That's why he removed me first. Now you are still hindrance. You still are hindrance. No. Does it end there? No, in Karnataka, that's just the beginning. You what more you want, Mrs. Yeah, you want A year later, Sidramaya joined hands with who were once his arch rivals with the Congress in the presence of Sonia Gandhi in this massive welcome campaign that the Congress led. A move that forced the JDS to break allies with the Congress and maybe call for fresh elections. So now suppose BJP says that they accept all your, your maybe your manifest. So will you join hands with them in form government? No, no, hold on. They had better plans also. In politics, we've seen it so many times, there are no real friends or enemies for that matter. It's all about who will sit on the seat of power. JDS thereby walked up to the BJP and formed the government. And H.D. Kumaraswamy is made the chief minister. So there you have it, all drama taken care of. Not at all. It was the beginning of another fresh cycle of drama. Because JDS, HD Kumaraswamy and BS Yadurapa now got into a fight over any guesses, power and over the CM throne, who will be the chief minister. Now JDS decided to take the extreme step of pulling the plug on the alliance. This was, by the way, in 2007. So do you think uh, that this will be a stable government and it will go on, it will complete all the 18 months? I don't want to reply for all these questions because whatever reply we are going to give, people will, they will take it in bad way. How our friendly partners will going to behave in future days? On their behaviors only we can predict uh, it will uh, complete full term or uh, it will not complete. And now you know why we keep saying Nataka in Karnataka. Drama written all over the state. Agreed, agreed. There's endless Nataka in Karnataka and all. But I think we've conveniently forgotten what happened in the last election as well. Are you confident of becoming the next Chief Minister of Karnataka or not? Same thing will repeat in Karnataka. No hung assembly. No, no hung assembly at all.